It was PBS. He probably did it for free. Oh, yeah. Probably. News time. <laughs> From the news studios, it's the What About Pod News, starring Producer Jay, with commentary from the man himself, smartest man in the universe. So what's up with news this week, Jay? A cop in Mountain City, Tennessee, went nuts. Does he have a chimpanzee? No chimpanzees is in the Dollar General store in Mountain City, Tennessee. However, there was a rather unruly squirrel that got into the Dollar General store and was just causing all kinds of havoc, so much so that Officer Putnam felt compelled to down the squirrel. Down the squirrel? Down the squirrel. Ate the squirrel? Well, he ate the squirrel, regurgitated it, spit it out, and then shot it. (laughs) (laughs) So he went into a store. Right. There's a squirrel in the store. The, yeah, the squirrel got in the store. How uh, did they call the cops? They used the phone. Who called the cops to begin with? Well, funny you should ask, Chris, because we have the 911 call here at the What About. Uh-oh, let's listen to it. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hey, this is Carl from down here at the Dollar General. I, what can I do for you today, Carl? I, I got a I got a squirrel in the store. A squirrel in the store? I got a squirrel in the store. I need do you to send some police. We can do that. We can call the police. Is the squirrel stealing anything? The the, the squirrel's on aisle four. Aisle four. That's the hardware aisle. No, that's where we keep the Jello. Oh, you're right, Carl. That is the Jello Isle. Now, how many squirrels are there in the store? Just the one. Okay, well, that sounds like a dangerous squirrel. We can go ahead and send our SWAT team out there if you uh, require the squirrel to be apprehended. And just send one officer. It'd be good. Perfect. We got our best officer on the case. Who, who that going to be? That's going to be Officer Putnam. Oh, good. I know, Jody. He's a good guy. Wow, that was some compelling 911 tape there. Exclusive raw footage only found on the What About. We need a uh, a breaking news stinger for that. Because that was <laughs> that was some uh, that was some heavy duty reporting there. Good work. Our, Thank you. Our newsroom is our is crack, expanding. Our crack news team. Yeah, on crack. Yeah. <laughs> Officer Putnam decided that merely firing his gun several times at the squirrel wasn't enough. He doused the entire place with mace and pepper spray. Nice. <laughs> but he was very diligent. He did clear everybody out of there. So it was just Officer Putnam versus the squirrel. Well, man versus beast. Man versus beast. That's right. Good work, Jody Putnam. Didn't know how many shots he fired. Well, how do you not know? I, mean, you, I don't your know. clip is, I mean. Nobody knew. Nobody oh. kept count of the shots. So I'm guessing there was more than one. Oh, sh- certainly. But I hope he didn't unload, reload, and then shoot more. If it's less than the clip, right? So mm-hmm. what is a what does a police issue nine millimeter hold? Uh, nine? My, Ten? My guess is fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. Well, yeah, but you still have to. So less than fifteen. How many did you shoot? You got it. I don't know. It doesn't say. That's ridiculous. Anyways, so when they started letting customers back into the store, they found that he had the squirrel subdued. Yeah. Pinned underneath his shoe. Oh, was the squirrel wearing a shirt? Because that's how you know the people on cops are guilty. If he's no, not wearing but, a shirt. No, but it was found he had a box of Jello tucked into his cheeks. Oh, yeah, he's trying to make off with the Jello pudding or like gelatin, green Jello. It wasn't Jello pudding. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the worst Bill Cosby ever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jello pudding pop, and then got you know, what about? And then you go do this and the. <laughs> I think that's. I think we just successfully made it. Bill Cosby and Officer Roscoe Pico train from from Dukes of Hazard. Well, I'll tell you more about the squirrel. This must not have been some ordinary squirrel because Officer Putnam was on the police force for over twenty years. Wow! So yeah, decorated veteran, very very decorated veteran. Wasn't the guy from uh, Die Hard on the force a long time too? Carl, Carl from Family Matters. Oh, <laughs> that was Carl from Family Man. Reginald wasn't it? Vell Johnson. That's a good call. Eating his Twinkies. I am so full of useless, shitty entertainment trivia. You would be amazed. And Twinkies. Yeah, wait until we do a trivia night one night, and it's all like TV, like eighties TV. Oh, you're gonna kill it. Ace it. Ace it. I guess yes. if I can come up with Eric Legrand and Reginald Vell Johnson in the same episode, 
You're very good with your 80s black dudes. Frag me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, 80s. Well, I guess ER was in the 90s, so. Yeah. But I mean, span America was in 88. That's very true. I right. spanned decades, though, with my knowledge of do. Eric Legrand. Well, you were using the same kind of jerry curl. I was. So we've got the Var Burton, Reginald Vell Johnson, and Eric Legrand, all in like a three-minute span. What do they have in common? It's like the three wise men. They were all three on the what about. They are. And they were never in my kitchen. My, nor mine. Let's move on to our next story. Well, since it is a Halloween somewhat themed what about here i just sell out it's halloween theme it's halloween themed yeah you're what about halloween yes what about ween now this is probably the scariest thing on the podcast other than us this is it's, worse than us I, I will say this is worse than us there are not many things that are scarier than us but this takes the cake hell yeah a justin bieber super fan has spent over one hundred thousand dollars in plastic surgery to look like the Biebs. He's a believer. He's a believer. Oh, yeah, he's a believer in plastic surgery. I'll tell you this. Okay. <laughs> he definitely so, is. So, songwriter Toby Sheldon. So, he's actually a songwriter, too? Yes, he well, is. Well, I mean, well, what do you need to be, a, a like, an actual songwriter, though, right? Write songs. Well, yeah, but I could write a song. It doesn't make me a songwriter. Do you, don't you have to get paid for something in order to call yourself something? Not necessarily. Or produce enough of it, because I guess we could call ourselves podcasters, but... He kind of went from looking like James Vanderbeek from Dawson's Creek to a Batman villain. He's kind of got Joker lips now, and well, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously he now he is now what Cher's best friend. And let's just run down the myriad of things he's done with himself. <laughs> he has done. <laughs> well, we're talking the we're talking the surgery, right? Yes, that's right. Not the things he's done with himself. Yeah, well, yeah, he's he's probably done several things with himself. <laughs> All right, so run down the okay. run, run down the list. Tons and tons of Botox injections, hair transplants, smile surgery, upper lip lifting, and had his bottom lip plumped out. Wow. Yeah. Well, the weird thing is, and I know, I realize, I get it. I'm not like super trendy, dude. But. Is it me or does his hair, Justin Bieber's hair always looks like once, he looks like a young Donald Trump. It looks like a pile of crap on his head. Yeah, and it's always going up. This guy has his hair down. Well, yeah, I don't, yeah. It's well, really he's bad. going with Justin Bieber when he's 14. Right. This guy's 33 years old. Oof. Obviously, he's out of touch a little. He's got great skin, yeah. too. What a great believer, though, right? Believers are achievers. So, those few teenage <laughs> girls that listen to the What About, you're nowhere near. As much of a super fan. Yeah, until you get a hundred grand. Guy. Yeah, a hundred grand just to look like him. And he doesn't really, I mean, I guess he kind of does, but I mean, you could just grow your hair out and comb it over your forehead and aquanet it to your, to the side of your head and make it look like a chinchilla died on your head. But the before and after, doesn't he look like that guy, Vander? Yeah, James Vanderbeek. Yeah, from Dawson's, does, kinda was does, it Dawson's actually. Creek? Now he looks like he's stunned and about to yeah. uh, be hit by a, Deer. He looks like a rabid badger that just got hit by a car and then tased. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded good. He doesn't look too good, though. No. It so, doesn't uh, look good at all. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I don't think it would be so bad, but the upper lip curl is yeah. just, God, just well, maybe, so Well, maybe it hasn't natural. healed yet. You know what I mean? Because it looks like you got a big cold It looks cold like it's raw. Sore. It yeah. does look like it's raw. One big cold sore. Or maybe he's Still. been, maybe he's got to do things to pay for the surgery. <laughs> unspeakable things. Yeah, I did things for you, man. So I guess he's just got this one picture, and he wanted to look like the... Because, I mean, it kind of does, but, but I, I guess. But I think that's but, the Biebs when he's like 14 or 15 or something. Yeah, I guess. I, mean, I, I think. I mean, I'm not a believer, per se. Uh, but then you saw this dude's face. And, and I, I thought that now was Now you're a believer. Bieber. I am a believer. That's right. Without a trace of... I could be a boyfriend, but it could be here. <laughs> oh my god. I want you to be. Yeah. You get back in the studio and do a karaoke blast if you're going to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, absolutely. I can, I, can, I can hear some baby, 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 oh, baby. Oh, I should torpedo the beebs. Yeah. that's. I think yeah. that's who we up next. So stay tuned. Maybe 29 or 30. 31. We'll so, surprise you. Somewhere. Yeah. The, well, the, the karaoke blast never. Never is quarantined or never is encapsulated within just one show. It's, it can come, come at any time. 
it's unchained. It's yes. like a wildebeest. <laughs> It'll go anywhere and everywhere. What the hell's next? So, Chris, have you been keeping track of the Northampton clown and his whereabouts these days? Still in Northampton, to the best of my knowledge. Still pointing at people? Still pointing, still waving, still holding balloons. At least that's what he would like you to believe. Uh-oh. Or not. We don't know this for sure. However, a major drug lord in Mexico was assassinated by a gunman dressed as a clown. Tell me more. The killer's disguise included a wig and a red, round nose. Oh, my. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the Ariano Felix cartel. This was the boss. A high, well, not the boss, a high-ranking member. Right. And this cartel was actually depicted in the movie Traffic. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, just the clown just came up, honk, honk, <laughs> walked up right up to him and... Got him right there. Was shot in the chest and the head. Well, you got at it. a resort in Cabo San Lucas. If you've ever seen Zombie Line? You know you got to double tap. Always double tap. <laughs> Always double That's tap. Right. Don't be a hero. Always double tap. That's right. Always lock the doors. Yes, and, and work uh, on your cardio. Cardio and always wear your seatbelt. I just dropped a pen on the ground. So you want and be a hero. What that noise was? You said that already. Only, well, don't be a hero unless you got uh, what's her name, Emma Emma, Emma Stone. Stone. Mm. Emma Stone. Yeah, remember, did you ever see Jim Carrey, like, creep out on her? Oh, he's, th didn't he make, like, a video yeah. professing his love really for Emma Stone? weird. I saw that a while back. Yeah. That was weird. But it's Jim Carrey, so you can take that with a grain Speaking of Speaking of clowns. Yeah, exactly. See? It all works out. It all comes around. Hey, you know what? We were saying Halloween and ween so much. We should have a ween break. Yeah. Push little daisies. Why didn't you go with, uh, uh, what's that one? Voodoo Lady. Because Push Little Daisies is better. I like Voodoo Lady better. Well, maybe next time we have a ween off. <laughs> I thought we have a ween off every week we're here. We have a ween off. <laughs> no, we ween on. We oh, on okay. and on and on. And on and on. Sorry. Just oh, that's what I do in private. Felt the need to ween. More. <laughs> Your daily dose of ween. So is that the end of our regular news? That's going to wrap it up. But I think we still have one story left, don't we? Of course we do. Oh. And guess what it is? We oh. teased it earlier. No oh boy. Oh, yeah. It's time for Producer Jay's <laughs> Story of the Week. <laughs> Just let it go. Let it go. It's it's gone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and and like that, it's gone. I can wean you some more if you want. Please no. All right. Good night. Unless it's Voodoo Lady. Not interested. What's the cat story of the week? You've heard of the old file in the cake trick, like you're in jail and somebody comes to visit you. They well, got like a file hidden in the yeah. pie or something didn't, like didn't that. Or various other things. Well, you remember that story we did a few weeks ago where the guy was firing arrows into the prison in Washington? Oh, yeah, yeah, Shooting weed arrows in there. Weed arrows, that's yeah, right. Yeah, smuggling weed in. Well, the country of Moldova has gotten a little more creative by using, quote-unquote, cannabis cats uh. to run drugs inside Moldova prisons. Now, Moldova, for those of you that are geographically challenged... Moldova is a little itty-bitty Eastern European country that borders Romania, and ah. I believe it's on the Black Sea. It's right next to the uvula and the scapula. And the uterus. Moldova? It goes like scapula, Moldova, uvula. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was the Siktivar that came next. Siktivar. Siktivar. Yeah. Chivkar. There's a K in there. Ch Back on Ch topic. Yeah. This drug running cat got caught by the prison guards because this cat was, in fact, trying to smuggle weed. Yeah. Well, it's now, the, now, the staff, they got a little uh, weird about it after uh, the cat was climbing up the fence, climbing down the fence, climbing up the fence, climbing down the fence over the course of several days and also burrowing a hole through the perimeter fence. Nice. Well, that's, that's got that's got a pretty well trained cat. I'd say so. Yeah. Well, How do you get it in though? What's what's the rub for the cat to get in the prison? You know what I mean? Because I mean, I figure you'd need like if I was going to train an animal to go over a fence and then over a fence, 
Like you need to have something on 